Welcome back to What's Up Cuz. How do your boys feel about their sister having a boyfriend? But I would be doing the same thing! Yes. You don't get along with me, there's a problem. <laughs> your family's opinion matters. Buddy had unexpected foot surgery. If you like the guy, go talk to him. That's probably the advice I would've gave too, I have to say. No, not at all. I raised her well, yeah. Erica. You made a good call. That's how I would approach it. She gets the days, I get the nights. Before she goes, I wanna answer this first. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to What's Up, Cuz. I am your co-host, Erica Spira. And I'm Lisa Velastro. And we got a great guest for you guys, as always, this week. Uh, we welcome friend of the family, Joy, a.k.a. JJ Ortiz. Yay! Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, you've been a part of the family for a long time. You've been very good friends with uh, Buddy's sister, Lisa. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's explain the family dynamics here. So Joy's been in the family as long as I can remember. Yes. And this is my husband, Lisa's... A uh, BFF, we should BFF. say. BFF. Yeah. There so you go. we know each other like sisters, I guess you could say. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm part of the family. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Every family party, Joy's there hanging out with all of us. Absolutely. Um, so real quick, guys, as always, we'll give a little family update. So mm -hmm. what's going on? What's new with you, Lisa? What's happening? So listen to this. So I went to this sip and paint yesterday. I, I know they've been out there for years. I've heard about them. But I never really went because, you know, I'm not a painter. I'm not. <laughs> let, let's be honest. I'm, there's no artistic in me whatsoever. And so one of my friends said, come on, let's just go. Let's, let's go. You know, my husband's away this week. He's filming uh, in the, the West Coast. I was like, all right, let's do it. I said, yes. I'm like, maybe I'll cancel, you know, a couple hours before. Yeah. But then a couple hours before, I was like, you know what? I never do anything just for me to relax. Yesterday was like a really, you know, crazy day. I said, let me just suck it up and go. How bad can it be? Okay. Well, I went. And let me tell you something. If no one has been to a sip and paint, you need to try it. You don't have to know how to paint. Trust me. I'm going to show you my, <laughs> I'm going to show you what I did. And I'm really proud of myself. Um, but it was so relaxing. And it was just so nice to sit with adults <laughs> and just BS and paint. It was like a zen that came over me. Does that make sense? Yeah, it was absolutely. just like a, ah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. But I have to show you what I painted. Okay. And let me tell you, when I got home, my kids were like, you did not do that. I said, oh, yes, I did. <laughs> but really? Hold again, it up. I you know, it. it's my form of painting. Freehand, mind you. What okay. do you think of that? OMG. All right. You know, they went with the whole Valentine's motif since it's, you know, February. But um, yeah, what do you guys think? That looks really good. Not bad. Not bad. You got some shading in there. Yeah. Colors. Right. And then, you know, I have to say, when I came home, I was so relaxed. I, I went right to bed. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, have you guys ever tried something like that? I mean, I've never, I've never painted. I've, I've done the wood. Uh huh. Oh, uh, the woodwork you know, the ones? woodwork ones. Oh, okay. And they basically give you the wood, and you kind of have to follow the directions. Probably much like that was. Uh huh. Um, but it is very relaxing and fun. Right. To do. It, yeah. It's something that I have to say. I'm not going to get up one day and say, "Oh, I'm going to go paint today." It's something that someone has to like wheel you in someone has to be like come on let's just go do it and yeah. then you're gonna bitch about it the whole time as you're going and then once you get there and start doing it it's like i want to do it again <laughs> you know they say when you don't want to do something that's when you have the most fun uh -huh. <laughs> right yeah when your expectations are zero <laughs> yeah you have the it's most true. fun you don't you don't think it's gonna be a good time mm -hmm. and you end up going and you have the best time ever right yeah. you know what i noticed about what you just said is i feel that way sometimes when i cook like there's nights that I really don't feel like cooking. Yeah. And those are the nights that I put out actually the best meals. The best meals. <laughs> it's crazy. That is so <laughs> true what true, you just yeah. said. Yeah. yeah. I think it's even just doing something with your hands that you're not like on any computer screen mm -hmm. or phone or watching TV. Yep. It's like something of just the movement with your hands yeah. weirdly can be a relaxing, takes your brain off everything else because you're just focusing on something in mm -hmm. the movement. So yeah. Like, I think it's just something that you've probably never done before that... It's something new to your brain and it's like, just go with it. Have mm -hmm. fun. And the glass of wine helps too, right? It yeah. does help. The sipping part it, of it. it, it I was going to say, yes. yeah, where are you drinking wine or where are you not drinking <laughs> it wine? It does help. But I have to be honest, um, as much as I would have loved the glass of wine last night, I did not have one because unless I'm actually in my home or I know someone else is driving, I won't drink. Oh, okay. really? But still, so it was relaxing. It was. it was very relaxing. So, you know, I don't need Next to. time you go with somebody, so then you can have that sip of wine. That yeah. or I'm going to Uber. That's going to be, I'm going to Uber there next time. There you go. I know. I was like, everybody, everybody likes it as like a date night. I feel yeah. like it's been a popular date thing or night out mm -hmm. with the girlfriends. 
I see it more as a night out with the girlfriends. I don't know if my husband's going to come yeah. with me to pay. <laughs> well, I almost feel like now you know how he feels, just working with his hands, yeah. getting in the zone. Exactly. Like he talks nice about relaxing. that zone all the time. Yeah. And I actually could now relate of what he means in the zone. Because yeah. you had to focus. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Focus, yeah. On, focus on something else, anything else. But exactly. Crazy day. Um, so having Joy on, mm-hmm. you have a very interesting kind of crazy story with your mom. Yes. Almost getting like scammed or she she got scammed. It was like a Mark Anthony. Yeah, she got scammed. Um, So for a couple of months, uh, just rewind it real quick. We lost my dad during COVID. Um, He he passed away suddenly from pneumonia, COVID pneumonia. And they were married for 50 years. God bless. And, uh, you know, much like everyone else, um, his not being able to see him during his passing and not being able to go to the hospital and everything was on lockdown. Um, when we lost him, she was very lost without him. Yeah. And, you know, trying to do things around the house and just trying to get back into some sort of life, she took to her phone. Right. Yeah. And on Instagram and trying to follow her daughter, you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, Joy's here. Joy's doing this. Let me, let me, let me go on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Well, she got on Instagram and she's a very big fan of Mark Anthony. Yeah. She's, uh, she's 83 years old. She grew up with him. She loves, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. I was going to so say, yeah, you're, you're Latino. Great. Let yeah, me tell you, you know, 83, God bless. She looks amazing. I would yeah. never guess she was 83. Yeah. She's 83. I saw the video you posted with her and I was like, oh my gosh, she looks great. Yeah. She's 83. I, I, I keep her on her toes. That yeah. I must say. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, she began to follow like the different face. Um, how do you call it? Um, the fan pages. Okay. Uh, so it wasn't the official it page. It wasn't the official page. But she doesn't know. She didn't know that. Yeah. And, she, you know, I guess people that run these fan pages, some are scamming. Mm. Some aren't. Some mm-hmm. are just official, you know, like with yeah. Buddy, there's a lot of fan yeah. pages. Yep. You know, and uh, one got into her, like started to talk with her. And uh, they basically said that they were him. Wow. And, you know, when I was first presented with it, I kind of brushed it off and said, Ma, that's not real. Don't, you know, block that number. Don't talk to that name. But because of my own life and I was so busy that, you know, it took about six months. And at the six month mark, it was to the point where she was already sending money. Ooh. And she had sent a couple of thousand dollars. Oh my god! And gosh. my sister brought it to my attention, and then I started to dig deep into it, and yeah. I realized where we were. We were in a bigger situation than what I thought. And at that point, I thought to myself, "Oh my god, is she losing her mind?" Yeah, you know, like I have to take it to the doctor. Like this is mm-hmm. not my mother. I, we took her to you know the neurologist to all these different doctors. She was fine. It was just, she was grieving and she was so lonely. And I guess it took, it, you know, it took over, but I, we were in a bigger situation that she was sending this person money. They were asking for like these air cards. Yeah. That's always what it is. It's an these air scams. card. I've never so heard of an air card. It's like, it's like, uh, someone tried to get my grandpa on this. He did not fall for it. Cause He's cheap. <laughs> it was like, you can try to get money out of him if you want. It's never going to work. Like, if someone pretended to be like my brother in trouble, called him on the phone and was like, We live in a sick world. Yes, I we know. do. But hilarious. My grandpa immediately was like, Why didn't you call your mother? And hung up the phone. Oh, but, my. But anyway, his but his friend got scammed. Similar thing. It's like they get you to go to a CVS or something, buy like those yes. prepaid cards read them the numbers over the phone. Are you So it's like me? not really trackable. They just take it, spend it, it's gone, right? Wow. Well, I like, can tell you, yes, I could tell you that um when it when I when the realization of this is the town that I live in, the CVS called me on my cell phone and said, "Joy, we have your mom in the store trying to buy a thousand dollars worth <gasps> of these cards." And I'm like, "Stop it." Yeah. Close it down, shut it down right now. Yeah. Oh and I called her on the phone. I said, Ma, you need to come home. She came home and and that's when I sorted everything out. And I tried myself to figure out who can I call, what could I do? Yeah. And I say, I'm going to use my TikTok social media platform. And I went, took it to the platform. And mm-hmm. within four to five hours, I was on the phone with Mark Anthony's attorney. Wow. And two of his road managers. Good. Wow. That's <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It, it was a power of social media. 
you know, when I when I talk to my people, I I never ask them for anything. I'm there for lots of love and fun and excitement. Yeah. But I I I went on very seriously and said, guys, I never ask anybody for anything. But I need everyone to share this because this is happening in my home. Yeah, I'm but it very, must be happening to other people. It has it's to happening be. all over yeah. the world. So I knew that people were going to relate with what with yeah. what I was saying, and uh, you know, we we got in touch with the right people. Um, but the problem is, is that the person persisted and persisted. We blocked, they found her again. Oh wow. my God. You know, it's, 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 it's an ongoing thing. And, um, we, uh, we did receive four tickets to go see Mark Anthony. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Um, very nice. The night that we went, uh, there were some things happening in the background and we were unable to meet him. But again, now on February 11th, we have four more tickets. Amazing. With two meet and greets from my mother and I oh, that's to nice. go in the back because I want Mark to tell her, Lorraine, this is not me. Yeah. Because still to this day, I kid you not, she, she said, thinks it is. she thinks it's him. And, and I try to say to her, Ma, you know, and I, and if I can say this to all the people out there that mm. are getting scammed understand that these people are international celebrities. They yeah. are not going to talk mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. <laughs> they're not. And yeah. I don't mean that in a negative way, but, well, I would just but be they like, cry they're not. On, the, on the elderly. Like, yes. first yeah. of all, props to your mom for 83 years old being on Instagram. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, let's start off by saying that I because, know. you know, I'm in my 40s and I barely know how to maneuver Instagram. Yes. <laughs> Truly. So, yeah. so props to her, but it's just a shame the world we live in. And, yes. and it's sad to know that we always have to be on edge, mm -hmm, you know, yes. especially even what about our kids? I mean, we're talking about the elderly. How about the kids that are dumb and stupid that are too young to even realize it, you know? So they're influenced quickly, mm -hmm. very quickly. Oh, yeah. Well, the internet yeah. came out when I was young and I remember one time I like entered my email or something into something for like, it was like a contest for like free magazines. But yeah. turns out like it we got these magazines and then also my parents got a bill. And they're like, what's this bill for? What yeah. magazines? What'd you sign up for? And I didn't even know. Yes. And it's not like I was technology illiterate. You just don't yeah. know. Or like, I feel like every time I open a website, there's like the pop-up to like, enter your email, enter your phone number, come on our list. But like, they make like the X so hard to find. Uh -huh. And all I think is like, I'm 30 having trouble finding the X. How mm -hmm. does someone older than me <laughs> like know how to navigate yeah. that stuff? Or it's find, so true. Yeah. Find the unsubscribe button. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. You know? Well, thank God for your social media following that yes. you could, you know, get the word out. And uh, hopefully it was a lesson for, for everyone. You yeah. know, it's a lesson for me. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I have to say, you know, Mark Anthony's people jumped right into mm -hmm. the fact yeah. that she was eight. First of all, that she was 83 years old and that somebody was doing this to her and that they didn't want Mark's name to be out there. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. only did they give us the tickets, they took it a step further and put at, put it out through all his social medias that he does not speak to the, you know, to the yeah. public. Or will not ask or you for will, money. Or will never yeah, ask right. you for money. You That's know? the biggest thing. The man's, you no know, No one should ever arenas. ask yeah. you for money. Yeah. yeah. If someone's asking you for money online, it's, it's a, a scam. scam. Yeah. Yeah. You absolutely. know? Very true. So. Very true. That's, that's Lesson the, learned. Yes. Very big one. A very expensive one. I know. I actually just saw Mark Anthony just got married. Yes, he got married. Remarried. I yes. saw that. Yes. So I don't know if your mom knows that. Model. <laughs> well, you know, I I, yeah. I say young. As, you know, because this man was telling her that he was gonna take her away. So what 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 it boils down to is that her feelings on the inside were taken advantage of as well. Mm -hmm. It yeah, wasn't just her yeah. money. So like it broke it it broke my heart to say to her, Ma, this, you know this is not real for, mm -hmm. for this reason, but I felt like in her heart, mm. her heart was a little, a little broken she as well. She was vulnerable. Very vulnerable, yeah. you know? And, yeah. and, th and that's a shame that that happened, but they, they really handled it in a, in a great way. And, and I just say the power of social media is unbelievable. Yeah. It really is. Very you never true. ever know who's listening and you never know who's paying attention. Yeah. yeah. I'm cur I'm curious though. What was the reason they said they needed the money? Because they were the first, the first initial one was a meet and greet. Okay. And they, she was paying to meet and greet um, him and it was the agency. So that's how basically it started. And then he said, let me create a different, e let me create a different uh, profile. And I mean, mm. I looked through the messages and this man was like, I love you. Uh, I'm going to take now, you away. I'm going to pick you up to the point where when I got involved, 
I said, listen, this is her daughter now. You need to stop writing. She's an 83 year old, Mm -hmm. you know, year old woman. We know what's going on. And uh, he, in fact, sent me back to that email, a picture of me and my father. Wow. Whoa. That's a little bit creepy. Yeah. Uh, in, yeah. And, 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 and I was very taken back by mm-hmm. that. And I said, um, and he said, you better hope I never find you. I hope you got the authorities yeah. involved and, in that yeah. one. Yes, I did. And, R- I, and, and RIP to your dad. You know, oh. so it it really it really was a very intense type of situation, and then that infuriated me. You know, so trying to handle my mother, the situation, and what was going on, mm-hmm. and then you know the alarm in the house. Mm-hmm. Now she's like, you know, make sure you put the alarm on before you leave. When the alarm is like, we go to bed. I mean, we're not we are four knocks. Yeah. Now. yeah. Oh yeah. But every time I go out somewhere, or every time she goes out, you know, she's thinking. That someone's gonna do something to me. Someone's gonna come to the house. It's a scary situation. It's not a way to live. You know, Mm -hmm. it's crazy. A a, a rose, a a black rose, was sent to the house. No, how does he have the address? This is what I'm saying. It, it, the police are involved. Mm -hmm. Yes, the police are involved. But you know, it's it, it's a very sad situation, and and people are being scammed every single day. And Mm. you know what? This story may, you know be prevalent to someone that's listening or watching exactly, this right now yeah. and they don't have the power of social media mm-hmm. and that's that's the part that's the shame yeah but at least it's bringing awareness mm-hmm. to the people out there if this is happening to someone that you know or absolutely or, or it's happening to you you know just try to be more in 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 reality of what's happening absolutely because these superstars and 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 the celebrities and stuff they really don't talk to the people like that and they'd never ask for money mm-hmm. no no no, yeah. no no but being so vulnerable in this day and age yeah. and what's happening in this world we're living in a covid society mm-hmm. we were stuck in the house for so for so long mm-hmm. and nothing's the same again Life isn't the no. same it's not the it's same not. and unfortunately I don't think it's ever going to be the same because I think this is the new norm now and, yeah. and in every aspect of the world, whether it's in the businesses or in the schools or in life in general, correct. this is the new norm. And until people really get used to it, it yeah. it's going to be a little bit, you know, shaky ground. I know. Well, I was going to say the biggest thing, too, is like anything that's trying to get you to pay through a prepaid card correct. is also such a scam-esque thing. Yeah. These air, air, they're called air tags, I think, or air cards. Air cards. And you put the money on them and then they can use them wow. when you send them. They can use them yep. for anything they want. And it's like, so it's not tracked, but it's like a professional mm-hmm. agency would have a, you know, credit card checkout. Like, yes. there's a reason all that stuff is tracked. Like, it's for their own also backing if there are scammers trying Correct. to scam yeah. the agency. Yeah. So It's I a know, shame. It's, it's really a shame. Thank you for sharing that story because I think that people out there need to know about it. Yeah. Um, I was naive to the situation. I mean, unless you just mentioned everything to me just now, I would have never even, even known all the details. Yeah, yeah. So crazy. I know. Really now you just got to stress to your mom. You're like, do you yeah. think Mark Anthony's cheating on his 23 year old yeah. model life with you? <laughs> you know, <laughs> what, what holds in my mind now is that, you know, for his concert on February 11th, she will get to meet him and yeah. he will be able to look her in the eye mm-hmm. and say, hey, mama, it's not me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And to mm-hmm. me, that's the most important because I, I truly believe that she may think that yeah. she's going to say, she says to me, he's going to know who I am. And inside oh that, that breaks my heart yeah. Yeah. to even think that, you know what I mean? Well, hopefully but, meeting him will heal her. Yeah, and, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. This situation, this yeah. horrible situation could yeah. be behind you. I know. But, yeah. Oh, well, I know. I'm glad, you know, glad they found out. I would yeah. want to know if that was me. People yeah. are trying to scam people under my name. I'd be like, oh, of course. that's absolutely not absolutely. me. Absolutely. I mean, we could have, you know, we could be in that situation too. I would definitely want to know, God forbid, someone absolutely. is, you know, pretending to be my husband or... You know, myself for that, for that matter. Yeah. It's well, especially, just, especially I was like, your mom, is she bi- bilingual or does she only speak? No, she's Spanish. bilingual. She reads right. it, writes it, understands okay. it. Yeah. But I'm saying like, there's so many people that are not. Correct. So then yeah. the minute they have someone like that speaks their language, they usually automatically have a level of trust. Like a friend of mine found a lawyer that was scamming people out of like, they were trying to get their citizenship. Wow. And basically take all this money from him and be like, you know, you weren't approved, da, da, da. But since he spoke Spanish, mm-hmm. these people were so trusting. They're like, thank God, I finally have someone that can really explain it to me. And, and he seemed so helpful. And it turns out this man scammed so many people out of like thousands of dollars. And it's like, when you don't have the power of, you know, even just being bilingual, 
it's also easy to get scammed, you know? I just don't know how people put their head on their pillow at night and go to bed. That's what I say. I really don't understand it. Right. And maybe I say, maybe I'm the naive one. I don't know. Especially multiple times. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's like you you have sympathy if other people are in terrible situations and they got to like make a quick buck somehow. But then like to target the same person more than one time is like, come on. I always say at nighttime, I put my head on that pillow and I and I have peace of mind because I know that I live that life that, you know, I try to put my best foot forward yeah. every day. Mm-hmm. I'm honest. I'm, I just try to make life, you know, what it gives me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. And if you can't do that at night, you are with it, without peace in this world. That's what that's how I feel. If you have to put your mm-hmm. head down at night and worry. What? Yeah. How, how does I'm that starting, leave you? Yeah, unfortunately, I'm starting to think that just there's a small percentage of us people like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, truly. It is so, true. It is true. It, and throughout, throughout life, you know, you learn different lessons. And, and it, this it last couple of years for me have taught me so many different things mm-hmm. about people and mm-hmm. life. And, you know, sometimes in this world, what you have is what you should stick with to what you know. Like in my life, before I would say social media, TikTok, all that, my friends were my friends since high school, my mm-hmm. family, my friends. And when you keep your circle tight and your people close to you, that's that in my mind, that's my peace of mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you start to bring outside people in and you involve people and you're, you know, what I say, what happens in the home stays in the home. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's what gives you that peace of mind. Oh, yeah. You know? True. Very true. Well, yeah. I was gonna say a good piece of advice I got too is like. Keep in mind who's quiet when you have success. Yes. Of like who really is like happy for you and there for mm-hmm. you. Like sometimes for people, it's like almost weirdly they feel better about themselves when you're not doing well. Yeah. And yeah. then you're doing well. And all of a sudden those people are kind of like, oh, kinda yeah, quiet. yeah, great. You know? Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, okay. And that's always <laughs> when I'm like, oh, my family is always the one that really like is cheering you on and really wants you to do well and is like genuinely happy and excited for you. Yeah. And you have that success. I so feel like true. there's room for everybody. I mean, there's oh, yeah. room for everyone to succeed mm-hmm. and everyone should want that. But that's just not the way life is. <laughs> yeah. It's natural you know, to be a little competitive sometimes, you know? <laughs> I get it. Sometimes we're all a little competitive, but like, yeah, now realizing it's like someone else gets something doesn't mean it's taking from you whatsoever. Yeah. For sure. It's very true. Um, Extremely. I was like, I do have, I did have one question I yeah. had for today. Maybe this is a quick one. So I know, Joy, you also went through uh, major weight loss. Correct. And we've gotten a handful of questions, probably also because the new year, everybody's mm-hmm. trying to get in shape, get back. So uh, they asked, Lisa, what is your workout routine and diet regimen? Everybody's everybody's curious. And I know <laughs> you had a major weight loss as well. So what tips and tricks do we have uh, well, for listen, everybody? I go up and down. So I go up 20, I go down 20. I go up 20, I go down 20. Right now I'm on my downwards, uh, downwards streak, I guess you could say. It all depends on what's going on in my life at that moment. I mean, I can't tell you I have one straight regimen. I go in through uh, modes of one day it's trampoline. One day it's walking fast on the treadmill. One day it's walking outside on hills, you know. I might go through a week of not doing anything. It's just, it's what's going on in that week for me. I do, I am very active. I have to tell you, I, from the minute I get up in the morning to the minute I go to bed at night, I do not stop whether it's going to work or, you know, going somewhere with the kids or I, I, I don't know what a TV show is because I only watch the news <laughs> at night really quick <laughs> when I go to bed. Um, I was blessed with a pretty decent metabolism. Um, so I, I have to say, I just keep myself really active. Another thing that I've kind of trained myself through the, to do through the years, and I, I have to say this is probably the hardest thing, is I've become more of a taster. Um, you know, when, when you grow up in an Italian family and you have mm-hmm. these plates in front of you, you're not allowed to get off the table until your plate's empty, Yeah, <laughs> you know, and that's kind of how I was raised, but through the years and raising my own children, no, if you're full, you stop mm-hmm. because I think that's the problem with the world is people don't know how to stop. I think you should be able to eat everything. Don't get me wrong. I went through my phases of no carbs. I went through my phases of no sugar. But it's not a reality unless you have a health condition. Unless you have yeah. a health condition that you can't eat the sugars or you can't eat the gluten. Totally, I'm not talking on that aspect. I'm talking for me. Yeah. And my reality is we own a bakery. We love to cook. 
Mm-hmm. I need to be able to eat everything, but in moderation. So what did I do? I've become more of a, a taster. Mm. Take a couple of bites and move on. And I have to say, it's actually working for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never been a breakfast eater. So even though I don't do intermittent fasting, I somehow kind of follow it because yeah. I don't eat breakfast. Mm-hmm. So maybe I'm eating my first meal early afternoon. And um, I've always been an early dinner eater. By six o'clock, I want to eat my dinner and be done. Of course, there's those occasional nights that we go out to dinner. Yeah, I'm going to eat at nine, eight, nine o'clock at night. Yeah, I'm not going right. to hold off. But I think just little things here and there right now at this stage in my life have helped me maintain where I am. Now in two months, I don't know where I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say one trick I do sometimes when I go out to eat, mm-hmm. the proportions will be much bigger than if like I made my own meal. Yeah. And my eyes are always bigger than my stomach. Mm-hmm. I love, love a good meal, right? I've a few times, because my friend would do this, she would ask for a to-go container at the beginning. Like when they bring the food, she'd be like, oh, this is too much, bring me a to-go container. But she'd like cut it in half and just put half of it away, Mm -hmm. close the box. Like it's not in front of me. I don't see it. I'm not tempted to like overeat. And I was like, that's a good trick. It's a good idea. It's actually really good because again, you, when you're, especially if you're at the dinner with your friend, you're not paying attention as you're yeah. eating. You're no. just you're indulging. Just going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden you the get to like gone. the dessert. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, what did I do? <laughs> now yeah. like you can't even breathe because, yep. you know, you've just overindulged. And it's like, yeah, you want to like, a good feeling. I've done the like, you're driving home, you unbutton the pants yeah. on the drive. <laughs> you're like, oh, this is, this is, <laughs> like we went overboard tonight. <laughs> or also when, uh, you know, men naturally tend to eat more than women. That's why everybody, when they start dating someone, they're like, I put on that relationship weight. They're like, because you're like matching how much yeah. they're eating and drinking. And it's partly because you're watching them at the table mm-hmm. and you're like, well, they're, they keep <laughs> having bites. I want to keep having exactly. bites. Exactly. Yeah. What are any tricks you use, Joy? What, what helped you with your uh, major weight loss? Well, I had uh, five years ago, I had the gastric sleeve surgery. Oh, okay. And um, it took me about a year and a half to lose 150 pounds. Okay. So wow. for the last three and a half years, I've been maintaining. But that's that. the hard part. Everybody yes. says, yes. even if they yes. get the surgery, a lot of people. Came back. Do you yes. know I heard that only 3% of right. people who have the gastric um, I don't sleeve, sleeve or uh, bypass bi- bariatric surgery can yeah. actually maintain their weight? Only yeah. 3%. Yeah. I was shocked when I heard that. Well, that's shocked. like that's why major crash diets, like you mentioned, mm-hmm. you often gain it back. Yeah. Because it's not a sustainable mm-hmm. lifestyle. Forever. You know, the thing is, like with the gastric sleeve, your stomach is a muscle. Right. So as you eat, mm-hmm. it's going to expand. The more you eat, the more it expands. So the idea is to always keep a portion control. Yeah. You know, so the way I'm, I'm up 10, I'm down mm-hmm. 10. I'm up 10, I'm down yep. 10. But I weigh myself every single day. It's just me. It's what mm-hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. It's how I know how my day's going to go, how my week's <laughs> going to go. You know, you're kind of like first what you person, say, yeah. you know, like mm-hmm. it's, I have to weigh myself every day because if I don't, it doesn't hold me. It doesn't yeah. leave me accountable. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I have had great success with the surgery. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I, I I never got sick from it. I could eat everything. I could eat a veg from a broccoli to a Twinkie. Mm-hmm. I could eat it all, but I do um, use the portion control, mm-hmm. you know, and when I'm full, I stop. Yeah. Because the part. Yeah. I can go back if I want. Do you notice yourself be more conscious of when to say stop? Yes, I, 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 I've already, my body already, like I already know. Now, did that take a while to achieve? Because I know that I didn't have the gastric surgery, yes. but that was the hardest part for me to walk away, even though I was still hungry because I wanted to get my body used to saying enough. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, for you, your stomach is still the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're going to be hungry mm-hmm. for me. I get full. Mm -hmm. So that full to me means stop. Okay. You Mm -hmm. know, and, and for a lot of people with the have this, that have had the surgery, that 3%, Mm -hmm. that of the other portion of that, it's that they continue to eat Mm -hmm. and that's what expands their stomach. Next thing you know, you're able to eat a full meal. Yeah. I could never, I'm a two biter. Uh I'm a two biter. I eat two, three bites and I'm done. Okay. You know, I've been doing these food reviews lately. Uh-huh. Uh, and yeah, everybody, I was say, that's got to be hard. And everybody yeah. says to me, JJ, how do you eat all this stuff and still maintain your weight? So I say, well, guys, when I'm on the screen, the bites you see me take 
are the only bites that I take. Yeah. Yeah. And then plus tough. I go to the gym. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's 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 a it's a balance. Mm -hmm. I was going to say it's kind of like have you ever gotten like a haircut and you put the shampoo in your hand and you go to wash your hair and you realize I put way too much shampoo because yeah. yes. you're used to it yes. being longer. So yeah. it's like the same thing of like you'll make that plate being mm -hmm. like this is how much I eat, but when your stomach's smaller you're like, "Oh, yeah. I can't do it the way I used to." But it's so hard. It you is. know what else is a good tip that I forgot to mention that I started doing too is I don't, we used to eat family, family style at the table. So the food was always it's in always front of It's always there. You. Easy to grab more. I now, the food is on the counter. I take my dish and I make my dish and then I walk away. Mm -hmm. You're done. You're done. There you go. Yeah, that's a nice So it's, I think, little things here and there that help. Yeah, absolutely. Again, I'm at this stage today and two months from now, maybe I'm not. I don't, the one thing, like you weigh yourself every day. Yeah. I do weigh myself I want to say probably once a week. Mm -hmm. I'm not a daily weigher. But once I do start seeing the way I am, yeah. if I see the scale start creeping up, I'll let it creep up to a certain point. Yes. And then something clicks in my head and it's like, okay, time to rewind. Yeah. Yes. Well, especially you holiday know? time and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You're like, am I going to punish myself and not like enjoy exactly. a little bit yeah. of all the I holiday never, treats? I never want to go back to where I was. So I think that that's mentally why I weigh myself every day mm -hmm. because I say, skinny doesn't taste as good uh, uh skinny doesn't feel as good as wait a second nothing tastes, <laughs> nothing nothing tastes, tastes, tastes as, good. as good as skinny feels yeah okay you know what i'm saying yeah. and mm -hmm. and that those pounds if i know if i'm here i gotta reset mm -hmm. it as so something i could do called a yeah. reset yeah and you go back to basics and then and then let's take a step further the for me also is high cholesterol runs in our family I could be the skinniest ever and still have high cholesterol. I do notice that when I do maintain a certain weight, mm -hmm. my cholesterol is completely normal. So at my age now, because, you know, before you're 40, you don't think about health. Who thinks about health? I mean, I say I turned 40 and the world went to shit. COVID <laughs> happened. Um, I started losing my eyesight. Yeah. I got gray hairs. So I feel that, um, where was I getting with this now? I lost my train of thought. Oh my God. I was saying something about the- um, Everything changed. Everything, everything changes. changes. Oh, the high cholesterol. So my high cholesterol. So now I'm more conscious of, well, we have heart disease in my family mm -hmm. and we have high cholesterol in my family. I don't want to be inching near 50 and God forbid get a heart attack. Heart attack. So, mm -hmm. so that's also on my mind. So it's kind of like, and it, it doesn't happen overnight. It, it takes, you know, it's been you know, months now that I've been training myself to- Portion control, portion control. Everyone says it's all portion yeah. control. Yeah. So right now we're at this stage in the life. Who knows what happens right. next? Well, that's why often just making little changes at a time mm -hmm. are better because like I read this study and they were like, will, your willpower actually does like run out throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So they're like the harder you're trying to start something like New Year's resolutions, everybody goes so hard. Yeah. And it's like, that's why people don't maintain them. So it's like something simple, like, you know, you're like, I don't eat after a certain time every night. And then just like have that be your focus one yeah. week. And then the next week be like, okay, I'm trying to, you know, not have, let's say carbs for dinner. Yeah. Like so, like little, little changes mm -hmm. here and there. I feel like not for me are always yeah. easy of like, let yeah. me get in one habit first. Whereas if I try to hit myself with like five habits at the mm -hmm. same time, it's like, it's like a withdrawal. Literally, yeah. You know? It's like unexpected and, um, and expectations. Definitely. Yeah. And you know what I found that too? And I, I found this out years ago, but I've maintained this throughout even if I'm up or down weight water 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 yeah. is the key 90 ounces a day I do religiously and again whether it's sparkling water whether it's you know lemon lime seltzer or plain water I yeah drink nothing but you know one of those once in a blue moon I'll throw in a diet coke yeah <laughs> once right in a something blue moon. something but but not often yeah not it's often. keys I usually try to do a big glass right in the morning yeah Water is yeah. key. Yeah. It really is. It really is. It 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 keeps you going. They also yeah. say it's um part of like a dopamine trick. Like some people do cold shower in the morning and like a glass of cold water. And something of like that wakes you up and really? naturally gets your dopamine going. Well, like let it me puts tell you, you in a better mood. I don't take cold showers and I do not drink cold <laughs> yeah. water. So neither do I. I, I like the water when it's yeah. out of the refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah. Too, ex too extreme for everyone yeah. here. All right. All right. You don't have to do it. You're, yeah. on, your, you're on your own Just with suggestion. that one. I know some people doing it this way about it. What about the people that go in those ice baths? Yeah. I, yeah. I can't even watch them do it. 
I, um, I just it's can't. It's supposed to be good for you, though. It is. It's supposed to, like, do something good for you. I You're would love to want to do that. you to sedate me and then put me in. <laughs> Not for me. I know. I've seen people do contests, like, and they can't even make it to a minute. It seems oh, brutal. Oh, man. No way. Um, all right. Well, I mean, that is all the time for today. This was so fun having you yes. on, JJ. Yeah, talk thank you. Thanks. Thanks for having Thank me. You. Yeah. And, J- here. and JJ makes some great seasoning, dressings. Where, yes, where can people... we have to mention that JJ's dressing is the best. Yes. So yes. if you guys want to try it, you have a bunch of different flavors. Yes, I have uh, six flavors. It's a all natural, no preservative salad dressing and marinade. It's keto friendly, Weight Watcher friendly. It's low in sugar, mm-hmm. low in sodium and packed with tons of flavor. Um, where can people get it? You can get it on JJZone.com. Um, or any of my social media wh- um, platforms. Nice. Uh, we use it TikTok. to marinate everything and anything. Yeah, it looks it's delicious. I've had a little bit of it. So. It's good stuff. And it's, it's great for a diabetic. Mm-hmm. It's made with an all natural honey. So if you're a diabetic or some like myself, bariatric patient. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh it's great for Weight Watchers. Yeah. I know, always for look anything. for sugar and stuff. It's like because yeah. I did one yeah. diet where it made me start checking labels. Yeah. And I was two like two grams of yeah. sugar in the, and the and they come from an all natural honey. So there you go. Delicious. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Delicious. So well check. thank you so much. For thank coming. you. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. And uh guys we'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. And Bye, if you wanna, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if you wanna leave a comment, leave a comment on the episode. Any guest suggestions, any questions, email us at whatsupcuzpod at gmail.com. So thank you guys. Till next time. Bye. Bye.